you gotta just roll out. First off, I wanna say uh, greetings again, my fellow YouTube nurses. And um, I'm gonna actually discuss how my, I guess you could say last two months of orientation uh, with the hospital, it's just, it's an awesome feeling, it's beautiful, I'm actually taking care of the patients. Yeah, it's a long process, y'all. I'm just overwhelmed right now because I know I did work at a skilled nursing facility and it's completely different from the hospital setting. Like I said, you got everybody in the whole nine yards. Um, it's nice. It's an awesome feeling because I feel like I'm actually contributing to the whole uh, hospital setting and helping people in my community, which makes it really nice. I just remember back in the day when I first started, I had no nursing experience. I had no one in the family that was a nurse. I basically had to go to the doctor to get a 10 minute checkup that was worth $400 when now I have a little bit more of a concept of understanding how the body works, the physiology, um, understanding how everything breaks down, what's needed and uh, so forth. So it's awesome to understand all types of uh, diagnosis and all that good stuff. So anyways, it feels good. It was like four years of hard work, paid off, and um, it was just a dream of mine to work at this hospital. So, I finally get my foot in the door, it feels great. So let me just break down what happened, all right guys? I know I told you about like, what, six, maybe eight weeks ago that I got the job. So they put you through this long process, right? They put you in through um, the interview process, but you got like four, three or four people in front of you, and then they ask you random questions. I'm talking about random. And then after that, um, Oh, like I said, check out my uh, interviewing uh, video. That helped me a lot. I actually went through the same process and um, some of those questions were asked in the interview video. I'll put it on the link on the bottom. Check out that video, guys. It helped me uh, do the whole interview process. Then once you get hired, you know that you do the whole drug test, the blood work, the um, they check to see what shots you've had, immunizations. Then they do a, um, a physical assessment. Then they do all these nine yards things. The full, full, whole nine yards on you. Right after all that stuff's done, basically you do orientation. They'll maybe they'll maybe put you on like a, a, a what is it called? Like a float nurse. So you go to different floors, check out how it is, and then after that you follow a nurse for like two weeks, and then a different nurse for two weeks. Six weeks of basically on the floor following a nurse. I had about six to eight different ones, learned so much from each and every one. Thank you if you guys are watching this, you guys helped me a lot. And you learn to pick up different skills and um, you learn what you need to learn. So that was rough because my first day, I said I wanna take one patient on my own. Then the second day, you learn to take two. And then once you master two, you start going to three. Once you master three, you go to four. So it's by law here in California um, that if you have four telemetry patients, um, you have to only take care of four. Um, but if you have regular patients that aren't on telemetry, then you have more uh, focus assessments for other patients. So it's, it's so open in variety and uh, you learn a lot, correct? So it feels good learning all that stuff. So after like the first couple weeks, started getting a little nervous, you know, and then um, calling the doctor, I got over that because I worked at another um, facility where I had to do it all the time. So I kind of overcome overcame that. but learning the different things you had to do with made it extremely hard so there was one point when um, I got overwhelmed I had an admin uh, patient like at it was very late in of the shift right and I had all types I remember one of the patients was very very difficult I don't want to name what hospital I'm at what what kind of patients for confidentiality reasons but let's just say I had a patient who was so fixated on going to the bathroom. He basically came in with abdominal pain, was constipated. We gave him all night, I mean everything the doctor ordered. You know, like colace, then you went to enema, then we straight went to um, ambulate and the patient moving around just to get him to go to the bathroom. And the stuff he was doing was so funny, man. But I'm not going to get into that. Then I had another patient, you know, who we had basically was, uh, you know, a homeless man. And it was hard to take care of him because he was so needy. He felt like he was in the hotel. I'm straight, I'm not lying, like straight up, just one of those, uh, uh, what's it called, Hilton hotels. He wanted a drink every time. To make things worse, he was a contact isolation patient, isolation patient. So we had to wear, you know, the gown and the gloves every single time I went in there. And uh, then I had another patient who basically had CHF, ejection fraction of like 30%. I mean, it was really low. Then infiltration and, and um, 
had a uh, bad lower lobe, um, uh, was it coarse crackles, it was just bad. Patient just had shortness of breath upon ambulation and activity. So then I have that patient to take care of. And then the other patient I had was actually a normal one where they weren't very needy, you know, very, uh, they're just very compliant with everything and I like that. In a perfect world, that's what you would get, but it's not like that. And then to top it off, you get an admin. You get a patient from the ER, you get report from the ER uh, nurse, and then you do the paperwork, the MRSA, uh, then you do the whole NAIR swab, then you ask them questions, you do the admin assessment, then you also do the physical assessment, and then you also take care of the patient while you're also taking care of the other uh, three or four patients. So it was tough, it was hard, but I mean, it's awesome because I'm getting my foot in the door, I'm learning what you need to learn, and for all you nurses out there, don't be discouraged because there's opening positions for every nurse. It takes time. There's always different departments that get open for nursing, um, and it's it's fun. Every day is a learning experience. You have so many extraordinary, open, cool uh, uh, stories, and it's never boring. I'll tell you that, guys. It's awesome. Uh, I've cleaned this stethoscope a hundred times with alcohol swabs. I don't even know if it's as clean as it can get, but. Um, this has gone through a lot, a lot of patients already. So anyway guys, um, it's been fun. It's just I'm overwhelmed because I don't want to break down and make a 20 minute video. I can for uh, if I want, but I don't do that, okay? So on uh, my next video, I'll talk about anything that's happened at the hospital setting and how it's going so far. So I've done my orientation. I'm off now. I'm going solo. I already did uh, yes or a couple days ago. And that was fun because you're your own. You just fly solo. You take care of your patients, you delegate. I phoned the doctor about four times regarding the patient and um, it's fun, you just on your own. So it feels good and being open and blunt makes it even better guys. Um, I'm having fun with this and I love caring for people. Any changes occur, I always try to do my best to take care of them. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else. Let me see if there's an interesting thing that happened in my job. Uh, oh yeah, here's one, here's one, here's one. So we had a patient that I was taking care of. Basically, the patient was fine, and then all of a sudden, the patient has shortness of breath, right? There's no nebulizer treatments, there's nothing to give him to breathe. So I had to phone the doctor to see if we can get him a, um, a nebulizer treatment. Obviously, the patient was getting up moving, and what happened was, the patient got up, go to the bathroom, right? Goes to the bathroom, comes back, and he's just having a panic attack. And I'm thinking, what are you doing? You know, get back in bed. We need to put the oxygen on you. He's like, well, I need to go to the bathroom. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, breathing or number two? Which one's more important? And he told me number two. And I said, no, breathing. We need to get that airway, breathing, and circulation going. Because if you don't have that, you can't poop. And he starts laughing, jumps on the bed. I seriously, he like jumped in the bed and uh, went all over the all over the bed. I didn't even care if he pooped as long as he was breathing. So we slapped on the O2 and then uh, you know the doctor had some orders for all these nebulizer treatments. Of course he had a little panic attack. We got him a little better. Um, but that was one of the highlights because as all this other chaos is going on on this side, you have this guy having difficulty breathing. You call respiratory therapy, they come and help you. So you guys work as a team. But that was probably one of the highlights because you actually feel like a, a good nurse. You're taking care of these patients. Now, like I said, guys, I'm still new to the game. Other people who work there uh, for like 15, 20 years, they got it down. They got it all down. But every day is a learning experience. I love it. Um, like I said, to be a full sufficient nurse, you have to work there for two years. Because when you graduate, you only have two weeks of experience in your belt. I know that sucks, doesn't it? But you learn so much in school, you take it into the nursing field, and it is humongous of the information you're gonna learn, guys. Every day you learn something new. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna do another update on my second video a little later. Let me just get some more experiences now that I'm going solo. Um, yeah, so hopefully that, this was like a long video. I was just breaking down my first day of uh, the hospital setting and taking care of these patients. All right, my fellow YouTube nurses, I'll keep you guys in touch. Peace.